Play one play at a time. We got to take our opportunities when given. We just got to be tighter and sharper than we were in the first half in all three phases. You called this redemption week. How do you guys achieve that? We got the ball to start the half, man. That's going to have a lot to say about it. We can't warm up to it. We got 30 minutes of action. All right, Mike Common, they get the ball to start the second half here. They were down by 18. Zappi, great first half. Trubisky able to get him into the end zone at the end of the half. These two fabled coaches, certainly on Belichick's side. First ballot Hall of Famer, unanimous. He will be. Meanwhile, Tomlin, 16 years in the league. Bouncing ball is taken at the two yard line. Igor Buke looking for room, cuts it back, brings it up to the 17 yard line. They'll start from there. Yeah, they finally found a rhythm offensively at the end of that first half. You know, they, they ran a screen to, to Jalen Warren. They got a reverse with the Trubisky block. They just they, they picked up a, fir, a few first downs and and then ended up getting into that rhythm and they throw the touchdown pass to, to Deontay Johnson. So see if they can pick up where they left off as an offense because that was really the first time they felt like they they found the the offensive kind of rhythm that they were looking for the entire first 30 minutes. Yeah Trubisky six of 11 for 61 yards. Hey Mike's left Mike's left. In the pocket settles for underneath and nothing happening right there as Harris is taken down by Tavai. You know, Trubisky's been challenged to his entire career, like a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL. But I think tonight, you saw him challenged. He threw an ugly pick. Crowd is booing. They're chanting Mason Rudolph, booing him relentlessly after any incompletion. And he, and he was able to fight through that, that adversity. And, and there's a look at Mason Rudolph and, and get him on the board. Now, I don't know if he's going to bring him back in his second half, but he showed a lot of guts there to be able to get through that part of this game. Yeah, no question. Second down and 10. Draw. Harris. You know, it's so funny. You, you've been around a long time where, you know, oftentimes if the starter's not doing well, they want the number two quarterback is the most popular guy in town. Tonight, for a while, the number three quarterback was the most popular guy in town. No doubt about that. I mean, Mason Rudolph's a guy that was booed last year when they brought him in in preseason. So, you know, it's just been one of those years for this offense. Anytime you let your offensive coordinator go in the middle of the year, obviously it's it's a struggle. They're, they're searching for an identity. Let's go, Mike's eight, Mike's eight. And there was the Mike's number eight. one quarterback, Kenny Pickett. Mike is eight. You're Ankle surgery eight. on the show for, they say, two to four weeks. Third and four, pass caught. That'll pick up a first down. Get the crowd into it. Pat Fryermuth making the grab there. It's, it's a nice option route, and he's such a dangerous weapon and has such a good feel for zone or man. It's almost like he just trots off the line of scrimmage. He's just reading. Where's the leverage? And he just turns. You know, that, that's a – depending on what defense they're in, he knows exactly how far he needs to go to get beyond the sticks and just flips around. And you know that Trubisky was locked in on Big 88 there. Anytime he turned, the ball was coming out. His second catch of the night. Like 20 percent. Give it to Austin. He in turn gives it to Warren. Circles all the way back. Starts to stumble. That one doesn't work. The earlier trick play did. Second down. Dietrich Wise makes the tackle. That's a loss of seven yards. Remember, they had that big reverse earlier, and they don't fool him this time. Wise does his job. This guy's a big man, very underrated at 6'6", 280, playing on that edge. Starts to commit down and then sees what Warren's doing. And just by... Getting in the way and slowing him down allows the, the speed of that defense. So good discipline that time and good vision by the big defensive end, Dietrich Wise. Hey, you gonna hog that? Oh, we're good, we're good. Warren. It's to about the 30-yard line to buy making the tackle there. Third and 11 upcoming. Really kind of in... On, on a national level, you look at the National Football League, and you start thinking about, name some great players on this Patriots defense. I, I think that's why I love this defense so much. It's, it's really hard to think of names that just jump out. With Judon out with his, his injury, 
there just isn't that guy. The rookie, Christian Gonzalez, started to flash a little early. Then he goes down with an injury. Other than that, it's just a bunch of guys who love to play football together and play hard as a unit. And that's happened a lot in yeah. the Belichick years in New England. Brings guys in off the street. They do the job. Third down and 10. Catch is made. Hurdles made. Close to a first down. Connor Hayward. Cam's brother. <laughs> And it's enough for the first. I was looking for 97 to come down there and give him a big bear hug. What a job by the big man. It got up and over. I mean, I, I thought, oh, he's just checking it down. They're going to have to punt this away. But Hayward had different ideas. First, the athleticism there, and then the power to bounce off of that, and then the awareness to get the ball across the marker. Jones looking for the license plate on that runaway truck. First down from the 40 yard line. Breaks a tackle, does Harris, and turns what might have been a two-yard loss into a seven-yard gain. Second and three, Duggar making the tackle. Yeah, it looked like Jennings had him, and then Duggar had him. Both times it looked like he was going to be brought down in the backfield, and that's what Najee Harris brings to this to this offense is that physicality. He's been more explosive, you know, this year. He's 11 runs over 15 yards or more. And in 21 and 22 had 16 so he's definitely been able to stretch things out but that time it was all about just being physical and breaking those tackles nine carries for him 23 yards Warren back in there flip it to Warren and Warren takes it across the 50 to the 46 yard line of the Patriots Miles Bryant makes the tackle first down Steelers so again, much like we saw at the end of the first half on that drive that led to a touchdown, some reverse, re, couple reverses, one in the earlier drive, one here, some screens, getting the ball to Warren out in space. Almost got ahead of his lineman, but put the brakes on, let them get hey, out in front here, of him. Down. Hey, Mike is eight. Mike's eight. Set. It's punk. Eight eight. Mike 20. Warren. Stacked up. Lawrence Guy is right there. Guy in his 13th year in the league. Second and long. It's another guy that you just don't think much of. But these defensive linemen, usually, usually you think about these guys at, at a 3-4. They're just going to eat up these linemen. But look how he uses his hands and gets off of blocks. And that's a thing of beauty. And usually big defensive linemen, they're just trying to keep those linebackers free. But... Rotating in, staying fresh, oh, Mike, good hey, depth Mike up front. Came over from Baltimore hey, Lou, Lou, Lou. six years ago. 13th season in the league for Lawrence Guy. Second down and eight. That pass dangerous and incomplete. Miles Bryant was there over the top of Allen Robinson to knock it down. Third down and eight now. Well, I feel like Miles Brandt was in the offense a huddle on this. The fourth year player out of Washington. He's to our right in the slot. And he just jumps this like he jumped that before the ball even got out. He's just simply reading Allen Robinson doesn't feel any threat at all downfield. Allen Robinson is either blocking or everything's underneath. That's why it gives him the cushion. But great quick reaction allows him to get in there and separate that football. Send an extra man. And then get him sacked back at the 49 yard line. Bryant and Duggar both coming in. They blocked Duggar out of what was the touchdown pass before. Not this time. Fourth down. Again, they're they're mixing up their looks, doing it mostly on these third down plays. Confuse him, take away his primary off to the left. He just doesn't have an answer. You could see how uncomfortable he was with his eyes. Once he came off his primary read that was taken away, eyes went down, no answers. Harvin to boot it. Going to let it go and going to bounce into the end zone. So that to agree. Thursday night. Win not a factor. Zappi throws. It's caught. Elliott breaks a tackle in the backfield. And Zeke having a nice night with a 16-yard gain out to the 36-yard line. Again, Ramondre Stevenson is their number one back, but he's hurt. He's out at least tonight, and we'll see about whether he plays again in their next game in 10 days. And meanwhile, 
Zeke showing a lot of what he showed in Dallas and now you've got Keanu Benton the rookie out of Wisconsin who's been a force of late who's down on the grass. So with the Steelers you know, Watchman in and out Highsmith out and now you got Benton down with an injury timeout here. Influence. Meanwhile, uh, Tom, I think, had some choice words for Pickens during the break. Yeah, he's just, I think, communicating how important it is for him to show some maturity and, and just kind of keep fighting and being a part of what this offense is trying to do. Everybody's frustrated, but you got to fight through it. Yeah, Pickens tonight's caught one, one target, four yards, period. Drive starts from the 36. Zappy throws, knocked down, and a flag down. They're going to get McDermott that left tackle holding on Nate Herbig. Holding. Offense number 75. 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. Yeah, McDermott. Trent Brown is the number one guy, but this three games this year. Herbig has a big role tonight with Alex Highsmith out for the rest of the, the game. The rookie out of Wisconsin has great twitch. Bit of a tweener coming out. He's 6'2", about 240. But he works very hard with T.J. Watt, but another obvious player out of Wisconsin. So in the offseason, they train, and Herbig has always studied T.J. Watt. It's a first and 20. Elliott makes the grab, cuts to the inside. After the 34 goes Zeke, mentioned as a rookie, led the league in rushing, led the league in rushing in his third year, of course, a stellar career. And the night he jumped into the Salvation Army barrel oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. on a Sunday night game in Dallas. Can't forget it. <laughs> Big personality. It's great to see him get this opportunity tonight. You know, Bill O'Brien, they, they haven't run the football a lot tonight with Zeke Elliott. Not been able to run it well. Ten carries, 22 yards. But he does have six catches. Yep. They are finding ways to get his hands on the ball. Yeah, 85 yards from scrimmage. Second down and 12. Here he goes again. He went up and over the 2,000 carry mark in his career in the first half. And that'll make it third down and about seven. Just to go back to, to what Bailey Zappi and Trubisky, we talked about this being kind of a theme or an important aspect of this game is not just playing like Zappi has and making plays, but you getting your own territory, avoiding that turnover. Trubisky threw one, gave the Patriots great field position, ended up cashing in for a touchdown. Zappi was in a zone in the first half. Let's see what he does here with this opportunity on third down. Zappi's throwing for 220 and three touchdowns. Third and seven, hanging in, but not for long. Cam Hayward, who's been relatively quiet tonight, but a spectacular career in his 13th season out of Ohio State picked him number one back in 2011 gets the sack here it's for Steelers fans how great is it to see 97 he's going up against a rookie right guard city so and just works through him he's got such great strength with that bull rush and good coverage downfield frees him up to get home the rookie Bryce Barringer sends it toward the near sideline and bounces out of bounds near the Pittsburgh bench and they will spot the ball. A lot of people think so. He's certainly very much at the top of that conversation. So the question now becomes he's under contract for one more year. There's a ton of speculation. Who knows. Maybe Bill knows. Maybe Bob Kraft knows. Maybe Jonathan Kraft knows. Everybody else is speculating. We know a lot of people who are close to the situation and anybody who says they know they don't know. know. They yeah. don't know. Except for maybe those guys. But he, the options are manifold going into next season. Does he come back to coach the team again next year? Is one way. Meanwhile, Trubisky throws here. Short pass caught by Pickens there. Does he. Does another team look to, to hire him? And then a trade is affected. And that's the way he came to New England in a trade with the Jets back in 2000. Does he get fired? I say the no. chances of that are 0.2%. Does he go into television? <laughs> you know how crazy that sounds, but he won an Emmy on that 
best of 100 yeah, show with Chris Collinsworth and Rich Rich Eisen did a fantastic job. Yeah. Se Wait, second down and five here. Going to toss back I think here. The only Nothing guy happening. that knows is Bill Belichick. Belichick and Cra I think Christ. Robert Kraft would have to know. And everybody's staying mum. How about this? If he goes into television, they put him in the booth with Kevin Burkhardt and Tom Brady next year on Fox. There's the answer. Okay. I love it. Or he goes on tour with John Bon Jovi. So we have all these possibilities, and nobody knows right now. You're throwing them all out there. T take your pick. Throw them in there with uh, with Tommy Brady. Hey, That'd be here, fun. <laughs> That'd be great. It's like Earl Weaver and Jim Palmer. I had those yeah. guys for a bunch yeah. of years back in but baseball. Hey, he, you're right. He did a great job. He you know, did. When he did that studio show with Chris and Rich. Third down and six. One-handed catch, but short of the first down by plenty. Jonathan Jones makes this up so of course this will be the ongoing saga in New England also you know Bill in his 70s so another team that wants him I mean it has to be a relatively short-term situation what does he do you know if he, he'd have to build a new staff basically I think the biggest question that he has to answer himself is does he still have the fire yeah. like, does he still wake up and have that competitive fire Nobody again knows that except except yep. himself. Fair caught at the 31 yard line by Miles Bryant. So you look at his career at NYJ. Kraft had to give up a number one pick for him. First year he was five and eleven, and then after that off to the races. I think the biggest thing we've learned in these last few years with Tom Brady moving on is that as good as Tom, as good as Bill Belichick is. You got to have you're not going to get another Tom Brady but you got to have a difference maker at that position to give yourself a chance to be competitive right you know our, our pregame crew had a, a great conversation I don't know if you, you saw it before the game but you talking about you know a lot of people say well Belichick's nothing without Brady that's total nonsense yeah I mean you know it's, <laughs> they were a hell of a team it's Absolutely. real simple yeah, they work together it's, it's like looking at Bill Walsh and Joe Montana right you know Bill Walsh was outstanding he was really good when Joe Montana was back there and Steve Young right you know, it works hand in hand second and three and Elliot to set up a, a third down and short I think there's one area you're going to critique it's not the football coach and what he does it's putting the roster together and what they've done over these last few years yeah. now that's the aspect that when if you're going to really critique and look at New England and say where they could get better that's the obvious area that jumps out when you look at some of these draft picks you yeah, no question about that and look he got all of the power after he'd won that third Super Bowl so he was the coach even though he had other guys in the office who were very important Nick Casario Ernie Adams and other people it was Bill who made the ultimate decisions third and two and that'll be a first down and just to put a bow on it if he goes someplace else is that owner ready to give him that autonomy or will Bill just say you know what I'll just coach the team right right be fascinating one way or another you know if he, if he comes back he's got to gonna have, probably going to go out and find a quarterback you know they do they go out and try to find a quarterback that's already in the league do they go out with the draft and try to it's a lot of big names are going to be coming out in the draft this year that are very capable but you're starting over you know with yep. another rookie quarterback so be an interesting offseason, obviously, with New England and everything that's in front of them. Zappi. Broken up. Intercepted. Fitzpatrick was in the middle of it. And meanwhile, that is Walker. Michael Walker with the interception and taking it down deep into New England territory. Well, they, they've attacked these linebackers. They've attacked them. This time it's Roberts who gets looks like he gets involved here number 50 to be able to make a play on the ball right here. They've attacked this area most of this game. Good job by Roberts who's really known more for his first and second down play but this time against Juju Smith he's able to get his hand in there knock that football loose and it goes up into the air so they've been going to that region this time. It ends up paying off for the Steelers. Good heads up play. And we talked about these quarterbacks. Don't make the disastrous play in your yep. own territory. And they've Patriots have done that right here with Zappi. Walker. Fourth year out of Fresno State. 
Picked them up as a free agent this year. Makes the play that can put them right back into the game. After a one-yard carry here, Gottschall makes the tackle there. Final minute of the third quarter. Remember this first half when they were down 21 to 3, we said, where is the leadership? Where's the fire from this Steelers team? This is a team that's 7 and 5 in the thick of things in the AFC wild card race. They're not playing like that after a tough game last week against the Cardinals. Give them credit for giving themselves a chance here. Now can they capitalize and punch it into the end zone? Second and nine. Good protection. But good coverage as well by the secondary. And he has to flip it away. Who's rained down again? Third and nine. Good protection, better coverage downfield. All he could do is throw it away. So here they go with a big third down. Only hit three of ten so far. Trubisky is thrown for only 92 yards on 12 of 19. Third down and nine. Pressure from behind. He's going to run. Trubisky looking for the first time. Going to come up a little bit short. Starts to slide a couple of yards short. Bentley is there. That's going to take us to the end of the quarter. And a fourth and two to begin the fourth period.